So there have been some exciting new developments in Wizards AI tool, and I gotta show you. We're gonna use Auto Designer to generate something with the text prompt. And I'm just gonna do maybe like a moving service and we're gonna describe the design style. We're gonna pick some keywords. I'm just gonna leave in what they have here and then choose a couple of these tags, generate my project. So here we are and Wizard has magically designed all of these screens for us in this flow. So one of the drawbacks to Wizard's tool was that you couldn't really add on additional individual screens once it was finished. But Wizard has added a lot of improvements here to help make that faster. And one of them is this little dock that sits at the bottom that says, how can I help you? This is your little magic auto designer wizard helper. So we're gonna click on that and you will be able to generate screens either from a prompt or from a screenshot that you upload. So we're gonna use prompt here. And I wanna see what the profile of let's say John's moving company will look like. And so I'm just gonna describe that here and then hit generate. And one tip is to make sure that you've selected the type of device that you're gonna use so that you don't accidentally generate a mobile screen when you mean to generate a screen for web. So this little window comes up now and it actually gives you a few different variations of this screen that you can choose from. So I'm just scrolling through these and seeing what I like. And this one looks pretty good, so I'm gonna click on it or you can just grab the handle and drag it right into your canvas. And there it is. There is this screen now that has been added to this flow and it picks up from right where it left off. Um, the same look, the same feel, the same information. You'll see some issues here, like for instance, the text doesn't quite fit. So we're gonna select that and then click on design and now we can change the text size pretty easily. So this is much more of an element component based editor. So when you click on an element, then the context menu is going to show things that are relevant to that specific uh, component or item on your screen. So it's very contextual and it makes it very easy to make updates to these things quickly. And that's something I really like about it. Another awesome feature is that you can now generate images and illustrations and drawings. So if we click on our little magic widget again, we can select this dropdown and now choose generate images. And this will give you some more options as well. You can choose a photo, an illustration, a 3D model, a pattern, a hand-drawn sketch, or a watercolor picture. So I want to get an image of a moving truck and I've selected the hand-drawn and it's given me some sketches and one of them looks really similar to the one that we have here. So let's use that one and we're gonna select it and then you can also hit try again to regenerate some more options if you'd like. And one thing I particularly love is this little note here that says to be mindful of the language that you use to describe these images um, and not to use anything offensive or inappropriate because the AI won't generate that. I really appreciate those safety parameters put around this option and I think that's something that we need to be considering a lot more as we are integrating these AI type features and generations into our workflow. So I'm just adding this image right in here and replacing the one that we had. Now I can use these quick contextual configuration options to change little things about this, round the corners, add a shadow, et cetera. So another way to change images here is you can just select one and then click on suggest and that's going to swap out the image for something similar. This is actually one of my favorite updates and it's the ability to generate new themes for this. So you can see that this is all in kind of a brutalist style. Well, I wanna change that entire look. So I'm gonna use a text prompt to say that I want modern, minimal, clean, rounded corners, soft shadows, that sort of thing. And I'm also saying that I want it to be blue. And then bam, I've just changed the entire color scheme and the look and even the shapes of the buttons and the corners and shadows and everything. And I can flip back and forth to view the original and the generated. So I'm gonna apply that theme to all of these screens. And this always feels like magic to me when it updates across everything. So there are a few little issues here. You'll see this illustration isn't cut out properly. Some of the white in the background is still showing through. So I might regenerate this image. This is pretty cool. And then just like that, that's fixed. So if you remember that button from earlier that doesn't quite fit here, 
Again, if you click on it, you can easily adjust this by changing the size and you get some default button sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. So I'm gonna use the extra small one here and you'll see it just resizes perfectly to fit that space. Same thing with this one, there are some inconsistencies with button size, so I'm gonna change that to large and then just click it into place. And so again, we can just click on little elements, we can change the border radius, do all of the things that we need to make that element look the way we want it to. There's another great feature here for icons. So if you select an icon, it will show you this icon contextual menu and you can select or search and we're just gonna drop in a new icon there very easily. Another very awesome feature that has been requested a lot is just the ability to export these elements as SVG. So now you can select them, select export as SVG, and now you'll be able to use that. The other neat thing that you can do here is create a template. So if you want to reuse some of these design elements, components, or just the screens themselves, and then go to templates, my templates, and then you'll see it there and you can just drag it onto your canvas. And again, if you just need some icons or other graphic elements, check the sidebar on the left. You can click on icons, search through a bunch of different styles. Now, when you are getting ready to design and hand this off to developers, there is a great new handoff feature that lets you inspect and copy the code of these components. So I can click on anything here, I can view the code, and then I can click on other things and easily see what that looks like in code. And then um, we can copy that, use that for our components or use it as a reference for the attributes that this particular element has. And I know some of you see these videos and you worry that this is going to replace UI and UX designers, or you might be feeling like, why bother get into this field right now? Well, let me tell you that in my experience, I've seen things like this come and go for 15 years. And usually it's the people that figure out how to utilize the tools to their best of their ability and then double down on the other things that really matter. Those are the designers that actually ride these waves into really big opportunities because the real work that we're doing as UX UI designers isn't just about putting screens together. It's really understanding how do our users behave and does this make sense to them? And then actually deploying these things to solve a problem for them and the business strategy behind that. And what this lets us do is communicate visually to the other people we're working with much faster because we can come up with an idea and prototype it very quickly and this helps us make decisions and move in a direction and we don't have to spend all that time deep diving into every little pixel but that is something that you're going to need to do really important that you understand the fundamentals and the foundations behind these design choices because you can't improve them or make better ones or get those screens production ready if you don't know those things and my course, for example, is just one way that you can learn those. So if you're interested in that and other lessons like these, then definitely check that out. And if you wanna try out Wizard for yourself, don't forget to use our discount linked in the description below.